Hey, this is Alex Head, founder of Subtext Radio. This is Subtext. Please go ahead and click the like button and the subscribe button. It really helps us to reach new audiences and promote the artists that we work with. Hit like and hit subscribe. Hello, hello, we are on Threads Radio broadcasting from ZKU and I'm here with uh, Melissa and Lauren from Sisu. I would like to say welcome, but I'm more of your guests, but still, welcome. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome. Welcome. Tell us something about you. Um, So we're part of a um, female identifying um, collective in London. (laughs) We've flown here from the UK um, to run a workshop, which we did with you yesterday, Martha. Um, and yeah, we're DJs. Um, we're going to be playing a night tonight, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. Do you want to say a bit more about what we do? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be playing some music soon. <laughs> um, yeah, it's our first time in Berlin teaching, so we're pretty excited about it. And um, we'll definitely be coming back for more. Over summer, we're going to come do some DJ courses here, I think. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I got some little crew. So what we do in London is um, we basically, at the heart of us, we run DJ courses and we support um, people who identify as female to learn to DJ. Um, But as a collective, we are um, all about platforming women in music. Mm -hmm. So we run our own events. um, We get kind of bookings for our artists. Yeah, festivals, mix series. Yeah. We have our own radio show on Threads Radio. Ah, yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so we're coming over to take over Berlin, basically. <laughs> that was a bit of a bold statement. But <laughs> so, Marta, do you want to tell us about the workshop you did with us yesterday? Um, yeah, I can, of course. It was a wor- DJ and radio broadcasting workshop. And uh, yeah, well, we learned some basics in mixing. And uh, we learned how the radio show looks like, how the production of the radio show looks like. Yeah, it was so much fun. (laughs) Thank you guys for that. Ah, wicked. It's wicked. So, today... (laughs) (laughs) I was just thinking about that cheese then for a minute. Yeah, yeah, that was a really nice snack. We've been snacking on cheese all day. (laughs) Me and Melissa basically came very early yesterday, having had no food, no sleep. Um, so it's a lot of snacking and sleep today. Um, but yeah, we're going to play some music. We're going to play some music. Um, you're up first, I think, Laura. So we're going to spend the first half hour just playing some tracks by female artists. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to do a bit of a back-to-back. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play a track by Kelly Lee Owens. Um, it's called Bird. And here it is. Thank you. 
So that was Kelly Lee Owens with her track Bird. Love mm. a bit of Kelly Lee Owens. Lovely. Yeah, she recently played at Printworks. Mm. She does a lot of live sets. I haven't actually seen her live, but I'd really, really, really love to see her. Is anyone else? No. No. So yeah, Melissa. On the radar, on the radar. Uh, I'm gonna play the track and then talk about it a little bit. Huh? Okay. Um, Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strange fruit. Um, that's by a lovely lady called Dominique Bills Anne. Um, really got nice. Her album off Bandcamp. I was just speaking to Lauren about it's amazing when you find a track on Bandcamp yeah. and then you go through all the tracks and actually the whole album's amazing. So you just buy the whole album. Yeah, that's what happened with this lady. Anyway, she's beautiful. Very chill. Very nice. It's a nice vibe in the studio right now. Everyone's really like relaxed <laughs> zen zen um yeah yeah so maybe uh you will tell us something more about you so tell us maybe how did you meet actually well we i actually came on the course at the south bank which was one of the first course that you ran wasn't it melissa it was the first course I it was ran, the yeah. Yeah, january 2017 yeah yeah it was an instant romance, basically, once we discovered <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I know. She said what music she liked, and I was like, bang. <laughs> She's my girl. <laughs> it was amazing. Like, I'd, I'd always um, watched my guy friends DJing. I'd predominantly seen male DJs and um, been raving for a long time. And I got this email about this course, this amazing course. It was something like 30 quid for six 
three hour sessions which you never have in London it's super expensive mm. for anything like that and um yeah we just got to um hang out and drink cups of tea and geek out with a bunch of ladies and it was just mm. lovely to meet like minded women it was and yeah and from there we've we met some amazing girls who still are part of Sasuko as well yeah and help us keep the um Community alive. The community <laughs> alive, exactly. I was going to say like the wheels turning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just didn't want it to end and we wanted to kind of share the kind of vibe and rapport that we'd mm-hmm. built up with others and just try and get as many um, women in the industry, create mm-hmm. platforms for women in the industry, um, try and equalise things as much as we can. And how big is the community? Oh my gosh. Um, I don't even know numbers. So <laughs> How many courses have we done? Like 10 people in each course. (laughs) (laughs) I reckon we've got about like 10 resident female residents who all play different genres. We've got Karis plays amazing world music, Olive, Zambian tea. We've got a few techno, we've got hip hop artists. Our roster is really diverse, which is nice, which is definitely something we're going to keep going. The more diverse, the better. Um, We've got some live acts as well, haven't we? We have some lovely... Jelly. Yeah. Jelly's a live musician. She's um jazz and amazing. Um but the whole like crew and like oh. people behind like the graphics and yep. the f- like fashion side or whatever and social media and the website. Angelo did our yep. website. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um the actual probably like the whole crew is probably about thirty people yeah. so far. Oh, wow. Yeah, and that's the thing like okay. Melissa's just highlighted actually we've got people involved who are artists in kind of other art forms and not just music um but they're coming along and supporting the cause so we're all about kind of collaborating across art forms yeah cool it's very cool and writers and stuff but okay you said about the diversity in your music but maybe you'll tell us what music are you into (laughs) (laughs) well i hate to be like really cliche and say a mixture of everything but (laughs) (laughs) a mixture of everything (laughs) Um, mainly, I'm mainly kind of house and techno, mainly kind of like acid techno break beat kind of vibe. Um, but I enjoy jazz, reggae, hip hop, classical. Yeah. Lots of different genres. Yeah. Punk. My mum and dad were punks from the seventies. So I've got like a big punk influence. Yeah. Yeah. Disco. Disco. Yeah. What other Wait, genres can we think of? My mind's yeah, gone blank. Yeah, a mix of everything. But <laughs> mixture, and that's, I think that reflects in the collective as well and why we wanted to keep the genres so broad. Yeah. Yeah. What did you find this morning, Italia Disco? Italia Disco, <laughs> we were discussing, everyone's on the hype of Italia Disco and we were like what listening to this? a bit of that this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if anyone out there is into that, but yeah. That's all right. Yeah, it's all right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cheers, cheers, Jonathan. <laughs> And what inspires you? Your daily life? In our like musical journey or for Sisu or in what way in life? <laughs> well, that's, that's a very difficult question for me. Well, I would say in music generally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, in music, what inspires? I always like hearing, I don't know, something new from like an artist that's I don't know, like, live performance sets are something I really enjoy, like, Nils Fram and stuff who curate their own, like, sound out of, like, I don't know, he plays, like, classical piano and electronic instruments and, like, Hans Zimmer and stuff and, like, really, like, I don't know, it's quite, yeah, it's a hard, yeah, it's yeah, a hard yeah. question. Yeah. Um, really, like, composed music is, like, really nice. Yeah. Cross, crosses over, like, genre crossing as well. Yeah. It's something that inspires me. It's, like taking you on a journey or like making you feel new or like making you dance in a new way you may not have danced yeah um and also just generally the journey you can go on as a musician you meet so many amazing people you go to so many places you're always discovering something new hearing people's stories through their sounds and every like aspect of what we do is just a new journey in some yeah. sort of way you yeah. taste new foods and places you've not been like even little things like that like inspire me totally yeah, so. yeah. i mean we were like talking about it yesterday weren't we about like um uh 
how eclectic musicians are now and producers and DJs and and um I guess uh, to some sense like you have to be a jack of all trades but also it's amazing because you get so you get to like upskill in so many different ways mm. um for my I've actually just stopped doing it but um my previous job was as a support worker in a music charity mm. um and it was working with people um once they left prism and it music was such a tool to really um really support people actually and really mm. h- help people to grow and develop and to express themselves and i think um yeah that's super inspiring yeah expressionism of it yeah. is definitely great and also how it like, crosses over with other, other art forms yeah Sometimes with music, like at the minute, CTM Festival is in Berlin. Yes, it is. A lot of like artistic expression and music's um, music is uh, platformed in a different way, isn't yeah. it? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than sitting and listening to it, it's like feeling it and like moving through it and like how it's presented. Is this? Yeah, it's amazing as well when you like. I know, like. Obviously, particularly like in the like rave scene and electronic music, but I'm sure this expands kind of wider into other genres. But it's like you know when you're on the dance floor and you connect with someone who, um, you know, you have no idea what like you know who they are, Synergy. like yeah, <laughs> and but you kind of connect through this kind of common understanding, mm. common bond, and I think music is a real amazing tool for that, and that's super inspiring as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what is like challenging you? in dj life dj life hmm what is challenging us um at the moment i guess we're we're still growing we're still starting out we're still developing as artists ourselves aren't we so i mean that's a challenge in itself um we're still figuring out where we're taking sisu where we're taking ourselves yeah, I don't know. Per- I'm I'm finding like social media a bit of a challenge. Yeah. To be honest, we as I think we artists, agree on that one. I find it. Oh yeah, I'm struggling what to do as like an artist in terms of like how essential really is it? Is it worth the time you're putting in? Sometimes I get frustrated about how much I don't know how to present yourself as an yeah. artist without yeah, just yeah. sitting there on social media. Like I'd much rather just be making music or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, loads yeah. of weird new challenge, especially as a new. What we've only been playing just over a year ourselves out loud like live so it's just a bit yeah i don't know but it's an exciting journey <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's that's important yeah <laughs> okay and also i have to ask about it because you're supporting female art- artists but probably you uh had experience with sexism in mm. djing world which is very Important. we well yeah we were saying we were kind of talking about this on the train over here weren't we mm. Um, we are always quite keen and quite pro it. Well, we always do in our workshops, um, teach our participants how to set up their own equipment. Um, because quite often it is assumed that people don't know how to do that. Um, I know I had an incident on a night that we were playing where, um, Uh, a guy came up to the DJ booth and pulled out my USB because he wanted to play a track, which, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if that would have happened. I don't Maybe that happens. It'd be good to know. That was our uh, first ever that event. That was our first. Well, that was it? the first ever event. First time I was DJing and I was, you know, super nervous. You were closing as well. I know. <laughs> and he'd come He'd come up to everybody, hadn't he? He'd yeah. come up to everybody and said, I want to play. You were all um, so nervous as well. So you just yeah. didn't know what situation the person's in either. Yeah. Like. Anyway, he took my USB out and it just did the kind of the loop that it does. Um, and yeah, I just went to basically play his own track. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> People do that. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 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 But anyway, I, other than uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I haven't experienced such dramatic yeah stories. I would have thought like actually we haven't really had that much like resi- like when we've been kind of talking about the collective and the need for collective, we haven't had that much resistance, have we, from no. anyone's kind of saying, oh, you know, why are you just doing it for women? Yeah. Um, people seem to kind of generally get the message, but obviously, you know, mm. we're kind of. I don't know, quite solid in, in why we're doing it. Mm. Um, we know our reasons. <laughs> yeah, but I guess also like <laughs> gender inequality is kind of, yeah, global. And I guess it goes into kind of like every kind of industry. 
and just you generally know, women in life. Are we talking about this on uh, Independent Day of the Girl Women's yeah. Day, Independent Women's Day, yeah, um, International Women's Day. Independent, independent Women's women. Day. <laughs> We're all independent women. <laughs> Which is? Do you guys have an International Women's Day here? Is it on the same? Yeah, eighth of March. Yeah, okay. It's different we, in different countries. Yeah, it is different in different countries, but it's the same as in the UK as well. So we're going to be doing some things around like that. Just to, just after women had the vote for a hundred years. And yeah. Like, even that was so emotional because it was like even though we're talking about music, it's like. Some hope, yeah, yeah. All over the world is yeah. such a massive, massive problem still. And yeah. So yeah, I think it's kind of the the uh, general inequality that in the in the music industry that yeah we're kind of really trying to fight against. Um, and I know that lots of female artists have spoken about personal experiences that they've they've experienced but I think that kind of extends to life as well doesn't it I guess there's some sort of se- I don't know if it's sexism but definitely some sort of something that like maybe just getting picked to play a festival because yeah. we are girls that's yeah. even st- to like diversify a line or, yeah 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 it's not sexism but it's still definitely like something yeah yeah but I guess like everyone's trying to like do the best in some sort of way of, like, yeah equalizing things so yeah but yeah, we've been told like don't play a gig if you think you're only getting picked pick for like the, you're the only girl on the line. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's a bit weird, but just keep yeah, playing tunes, keep playing tunes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was a very long answer, but it's that's, yeah, okay. that's, what, I, that's what I wanted. So yeah, that's that's nice. Um, yeah. But uh, yes, so we, I think we're getting... It's a big topic to, to speak about. I, yeah, I know. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, why, that's we could probably I'm speak all day about it. <laughs> yeah. But maybe we'll change the subject and you will ter- tell us um, yeah. about the club night that is happening tonight. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo-hoo. Please, Woo-hoo. shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tonight, Threads Radio are throwing a party. Indeed we are. Um, and we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing 2.30 till 4.00. With some amazing people. Yeah. Medallia Man. Yeah. He's asleep right now, though. Oh, <laughs> bless. Um, Lee is also asleep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ben Pass. Yes. Yeah. You're um, playing, aren't you? I am, yeah. Yeah. You are What's playing? your DJ what name? What's your DJ name? Uh, Withheld. Withheld is playing. Yeah, with He's in the studio with us right now. Withheld. Um, um, so, yeah. yeah, come on down if you if you can make it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just trying to remember where the venue is. What's the ne- Where's the venue? Uh, so oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Could you say that for us, Mark? Kopernika Strasse. Kopernika Strasse, 21. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> there it is. Come down tonight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it starts at 12 and it finishes at 10. So, yeah, come down. Yeah, so maybe now you will show us your... DJ skills. <laughs> yeah. we, well, we're going to be doing a back to back later, yes. so we figured we'll do a little back to back now for the rest yes. of the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, do we need to shout out about anything else? Well, I was just going to say, like, of, like Fred's radio is on Facebook with all their yeah. events as well, and it's super exciting. And there's a new website where you can just see all the shows and tune in. And yeah, yeah same for Sisu as well, in a way. Hopefully we're going to be back here to do some workshops, so yeah, we'll we be are. announcing those. Sweet. Alex is doing a thumbs up. Yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> so please keep an eye on that and come and get involved if you're if you're interested in learning how to DJ. And um, obviously yeah. in London, you know, where Facebook is at Sisu Crew, Instagram is Sisu Crew, Twitter Sisu Crew. Yeah, <laughs> you get the picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, follow us and Thank tweet you, us or whatever. Um, so much for the interview. Thank you, Marta. Yeah, thank you. It's very, thank you for very having intriguing. Me. You're very welcome. <laughs> so, do you want to chat a bit? Shall I line up a track, or do you want me to just talk about cheese some more? I don't know. <laughs> line yes, up a track. Please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lauren's just picking a track. Um, yeah. We hope to have you on radio again, Seema. We really enjoyed it. Maybe you can come along to the next workshops as well. Oh, yeah, maybe. (laughs) Maybe, who knows?
Thank <laughs> you.